Hi everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys the difference between set to frame size and scale to frame size. And what these are gonna be used for is if you have uh, different types of media that's different resolutions uh, here. In fact, I'm gonna show you here, we've got uh, some drone footage, and if I select my drone footage, you'll see that the resolution is 4K. This is 4096 by 2160. I have some slow motion footage of a dog running around, and this footage happens to be 1920 by 1080. And then I have some photographs that are at uh, varying resolutions around 4K and uh, 4032 by 2268. So it's a, a little bit, uh, it's 4K but a little higher resolution vertically than is my drone footage. And now what I've got is I've got two timelines here. I've got a timeline that is set at 1920 by 1080 and one at 4K. Let's say that we are delivering a 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9 signal to like YouTube or to some, or for a commercial or something like that. We're sending this out and we want everything to meet that resolution. Now I have already imported this footage. I'll show you a little secret at the end of this here, but, but I've already imported some footage here. And if you go up to Premiere Pro and go to Preferences and go to Media, under that you're going to have this little option right here. The default for this default media scaling is going to to be none. Um, I usually have this on a uh, set to frame size and I'll show you why by, uh, toward the end here but let's show you basically what's happening. So I'm going to keep that on none right now and I'm going to but I'm going to grab some of this footage here and I'm going to decide what uh, timeline do I want to put this in. Let's go 1920 by 1080 because let's say that's the, the delivery method that I'm going to export this out of 1920 by 1080. So I take my dog footage and I drop it down into my timeline and the footage fits just fine there. I've got the slow-mo footage here. So that's the frame size of my that's the frame size of my timeline and it's the frame size of my footage that I have. So they're both basically the same resolution. Now watch what happens as I grab some footage that is higher resolution than 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna grab this 4K footage and I'm gonna drag it in. This is like four times the, the pixel count here. Drop it into my timeline. And I know I move my mouse over this and what's happened here uh, is this footage has been zoomed up. Let me show you the original. I'm going to double click on this. And this footage, uh, and, and this footage, this is the whole frame right here. And look what it's done here is it's it's cropped out a center portion that is 1920 by 1080 and stuck it in there. So it has not doing, done any zooming. It just dropped it in and the resolution is too high for this timeline. So what you can do is you can go down and you can right click on your footage here and you can say set to frame size or scale to frame size. What set is going to do, this is especially uh, helpful if you are having trouble processing this, like the, the footage, the footage is too high resolution, you can right click and you can say scale to frame size. Scale to frame size then fits that resolution. This is a little bit wider than 19, a little bit wider aspect ratio, so it has letter bars on the top and bottom now because this is a 1.89 to 1 aspect ratio, whereas my timeline is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So it will fit it down until it meets the sides here, and then you have some letter boxes on the top and the bottom. Now, what this does is if we click on this and you go to the effect controls and you look at this, this sets this at 100 at regular 100 scale just like you have your footage here is at 100 scale and you go to this footage here this is at 100 scale as well which basically means this has basically down sampled this video to 1920 by 1080 which means you've kind of lost some options here if you want to zo zoom up on this and crop into something the resolution is not going to be good if you uh, zoom up on this you're going to start noticing some uh, some detail quality loss because it has downscaled it to 1920 by 1080 and treating the footage as if it is 1920 by 1080. So when you zoom up, it's not going to look good. It will, it will, you, you lose a little bit of zoom ability on your higher resolution footage. So the other option here is to uncheck scale fra to frame, and now it zo zooms back in. Uh, it would be a right check right click and do set to frame size. What this does, now if you select this you'll notice it has scaled it down to a little bit beyond, uh, below 50% scale uh, and now this is at 46.9. This is remembering, this is accessing this clip's full resolution now. So now if you decide to zoom up on this the quality is going to look a lot better than if you did the scale to frame size. So it just really uh, depends on what you're planning on doing. If you want the ability to zoom up and to reframe some my items uh, with the extra resolution that you have, you'll want to do set to frame size. If you want to increase the processor speed and make things play back a lot quicker and you're having trouble playing back some of because this is going to be accessing the regular 4K footage, but it's going to be chuggier than if you do scale to frame size. So it just really depends on what you're doing. Now sometimes if you're putting photos into your timeline, that's where it's going to be kind of important here. And, and actually, let's kind of show the reverse of this. If I've got a 4K timeline here, uh, and I drop my some of my 4K foot, uh, drone footage in here. Notice the frame size is is just right. It fits this perfectly. But now if I grab some 1920 by 1080 footage, which is much smaller, I'm going to grab and drop this in here. 
And now let's like take a look at it and look what it does. This is small resolution and notice it, it puts it in, in its actual size, a 1920 by 1080 video in a 4K canvas space here. And this is not going to be as important because this is already small resolution. So I can right click on this and choose scale to frame size or set to frame size. I'm just going to choose scale to frame size. It will scale it up until it meets the, uh, the, the top and the bottom of the video hits the the top and the bottom hit uh, the, the constraints of the video signal here. But now you'll notice it's got what are called pillar boxes on it because this video, this timeline is wider than it is, than this 1920 by 1080. So what I can do here is you can basically select a clip and you can go to the effect controls and then you just grab the scale here and scale it up just a little bit extra to meet the, the edges right there. Now that, that meets the edges of this frame right here. And if I put more dog videos in here, these 1920 by 1080 videos, let's put a whole bunch in there drop these all in there. Uh, so now what I can do is I move over these, notice that these ones are smaller. So now what I can do, if I want this the same size as this one here, first of all I can highlight all of these ones here, right click and do the same thing, and do scale to frame size. They've scaled but they're now with the letterbox. I can move over to this one here and copy that because I zoomed that just a little bit more after I scaled it. Highlight these ones, right click, right click and do paste attributes. I have copied this one, copied it by hitting command C or control C and I'm going to highlight these clips here that have the pillar boxing and you can right click and say paste attributes and then you can say just paste the uh, the motion attributes and nothing else. We can turn off the panner and just paste motion attributes. Hit OK and everything scales up a little bit more and gets rid of those uh, pillar boxes on the side. This is kind of the same as photographs. If you're doing like still images uh, inside your timeline, you usually would want to do set to frame size. So what we can do here is I can go to these photos. Here we've got some photos. These ones are a little bit beyond 4K. Let's do this in our 1920 by 1080 timeline here. And I put some photos at the end here. I'm going to grab these three photos and drop them in. Let's zoom up to that a little bit. Plus, plus, plus. And right now let's look at the original uh, file here. See this original file here, you see a lot more resolution here than you do in this window. This is cropping in a 1920 by 1080 window out of this. Uh, same here, it's zooming up. Same here, it's zooming up as well. So what we can do is we can highlight all three of these and we can right click and say set to frame size because you don't want to, especially if you're doing something like the Ken, Ken Burns effect where you're slowly zooming in and out of a photo, you don't want to lose access to that resolution, which you will do on scale to frame size. So set to frame size and now it sets it to that frame size there. And now if you want to do like a little animation here, if I select the clip and we go to effect controls and we uh, change the scale at one point, I've got another lesson that I'll be doing this on later and add another key point. We're going to have this slowly zoom in from there to there. So now as we press play, that does a slow will it spread this out so it lasts a little bit longer. There we go. Now as it zooms in here, this is not losing resolution as it zooms into that file there because we did set to frame size instead of scale to frame size. So pretty, pretty important in, uh, distinction there. But one other thing that I'm going to show here. So but what you can do upon import here is when you import it, you can basically have it check mark these, these files as I import the footage to automatically add those, uh, add that feature to it. So you don't have to right click on it every time it's inside the timeline. So let's do this. We're going to just import our photos again. I'm going to delete those and I'm going to go up to Premiere Pro. This is the little trick I was talking about. And we're going to go to Media. And we are going to drop this down here, default scale, uh, media scaling, and I'm going to say set to frame size once again because uh, I want to be able to zoom on the, these things. So set to frame size, I'm going to hit OK. And now anytime I import footage, it will add that fee that option. It will basically check mark that option onto these individual photos here. So uh, Control i or Command i to import, select these JPEGs, import those JPEGs. So now I'm going to drop these into my timeline here and these will be automatically scaled. If that feature has been added and now it's zooming automatically and you don't have to, you no longer have to right click on these and say set to frame size and now you can zoom up on these and they will be uh, higher quality. And this was at 47.6%. It basically scaled it down to 47.6% to fit it into this window here. So we're not losing any resolution. And it's now being converted to 1920 by 1080 but you can zoom on this without it losing that quality. So that's an explanation of the difference between set to frame size and scale to frame size. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching.